Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name's Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and take a look at nested tuples. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with what a nested tuple is. I'm going to create a uh, variable called nested to represent our nested tuple. And a, nest, and a nested tuple is a tuple nested in another tuple. Uh, the most important thing is here is how do we uh, access the objects contained in the tuple. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. <clears throat> so I'm just creating my uh, nested tuple here for you guys. And the last one will be eight. All right, so there we go. We got a nested tuple, so tuple inside a tuple, and then we have some objects in there. Like I said, the most important part is how do we access those objects in there? As you write more complicated programs, you'll find yourself doing um, more nested type stuff, like nested tuples or nested uh, list or nested dictionaries. So getting to those objects is very important. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and first call our nested tuple. And there we go, we just got uh, two tuples inside a tuple. And how would we get this first tuple? So it's just like how we get a um, regular old object. We use square brackets and then we call the index position. So zero is gonna return this tuple right here. So we'll hit return and we get cat and dog. All right, uh, how do we get this tuple right here? Well, we call the variable and square brackets and then one and we get that tuple. How do we get cat inside of that tuple? We're going to do nested again, and then we're going to do square brackets, zero square brackets, and square brackets, zero square brackets, and we get cat. Same with dog. This time we change this index position to one. So we do nested, square brackets, zero square brackets, and then square brackets, one square brackets, and we get dog. All right. So that's how you work with nested tuples in Python. If you have any questions, please let us know either in the comments below or visit mastercode.online and we'll be more than happy to help you out. 